the Japanese brands, you know, like Spider. I shop here all the time. The next stop is Second Street. This is super cool. It has like the lace and the floral. I love this. I feel like this isn't like, really my style as much anymore, but I love coming here. The strawberry matcha is actually so good and they only have it at a certain time of the year. But also the honey oat lattes are so good. Anyways, hi, welcome. It's another day. It's currently Sunday. Is it Sunday? Yeah. I'm like, why is it Saturday? Yeah. It's currently Sunday and Haley and I are walking around New York. Just honestly, I'm just trying to show her around because it's her first week here, but I had to take her to Cafe Grumpy. We're currently in the Essex Market right now, which basically is just a marketplace with a bunch of restaurants, shops, all that stuff. She's gonna get the honey oat. Could I just do the iced strawberry matcha, please? What do you think? I like it. I said I can taste the oat in it. It tastes very naturey, but isn't in a good it, way. Isn't it better than like just a vanilla latte? It is. I don't know, personally in my opinion. I like it. It's really good. The strawberry matcha. Yeah. Basically, they just take strawberry jam. I'm pretty sure that's what the guy said when we asked last year what it was made out of. And they put it in the matcha, so try that. Nice. Oh. Welcome to the New York City tourist. So I'm out of breath from walking up those stairs. See, and when I point, you point to the stairs. Sorry guys, we're training the new guy. But I used to live in this area. Fun facts about me. Oh, hi. Are you from Vietnam? I am from Vietnam. Me too. Yeah, I'm literally oh going. My Wait, did you, have you ever like lived there or did your parents grow up there? I um, came from here like um, seven years ago. Oh, seven years ago? What yeah. area of Vietnam did you live? Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, I'm going to Ho Chi Minh City in like two weeks. Oh yeah? Yeah. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. I used to come here all the time because there's like. You found a Mexican. You found a Mexican grocery store. I go at home. Oh yeah, this is Mexican. Yeah. So I used to go here to get groceries all the time. Or just my coffee. There's like juice stands here. There's a flower stand here, and I would know because the cameraman behind here actually would get me flowers here sometimes. Are Are you nodding? Yeah. So you just figured out that I'm going to Vietnam. Yeah. Do you know her? No, I don't know her. Just because she's Vietnamese, I don't know her. No, I mean, the way like you guys were talking and the way you were like, Hey, how are you? You made it seem like you knew her for a while. No. She just waved and then I assumed she watched my videos, so obviously I'm going to go say oh, hi. Oh, she waved. I didn't see that. Oh. What I love about New York is that they have so many places like this. And you know what? They have pre-cut up things. And you know how you would assume that maybe they're 10 bucks, like airport prices? No. Two bucks. It's still a little pricey, but to be honest, that's not even bad. That's why we love New York and the Essex market. That's okay, good cameraman. We said grocery haul. Grocery haul. We said let's walk around Soho. And she said, let me go get my refry beans. And the hand. The essentials. And look, here we have a Japanese market with all things Japanese that you need. You know, you have your matcha with your matcha. They're also selling ramen, all the ingredients you might possibly need that they won't sell in a regular grocery store. I'm telling you, if you come to New York, visit this place just for the coolness of it. Fun fact about New York is that I don't think they sell yerba mate. So yerba mate, if you're watching this and you'd like to send us cases of yerba mate. Typically, um, in the flavor enlightenment or buforia. Please. Oh this gosh. is the brand right here, but they don't have the cans. If you guys maybe live somewhere and for some reason you have cases, maybe ship them over to me. Maybe I'll make a P.O. box so you guys can ship us your bromates because this has been going wild for them. All right, y'all, let's see the next place. Mister, we need to show her everything. Yes. This is where we're going to head into next. It's called Dana Foley. It is my favorite store here in New York. It's expensive. It's very expensive, but I'm telling you, all the pieces here are so good. Basically, they thrift and or like find vintage pieces and they'll resell them. But most of the time, they tailor them and put their own little twist to it. So, you know, instead of a regular skirt, they'll have a tie. Or like instead of a regular blazer, they'll crop it. But they also make their own pieces and everything. But this store is it. Even if you don't have the budget, just come here to check it out because I'm telling you, it's my favorite store. Speaking of these stores, though, if you guys want to like check them out online and save a couple of your favorite pieces, instead of having a bunch of tabs from different stores, what I like to do is just pin them to my pin board on this browser. It's called Opera Desktop, but right now the ones that I have are clothes that I like. And I have one for furniture for my house. Like if I see any cool piece of furniture, I like to put it in my pin board so I know that it's there in case I ever want to go back. I think my favorite part of it is that it has built in ad blockers so you never have to see an ad again. Like that alone right there should make you want to get this. And it has free VPN because VPN be expensive and it's free in Opera. But also something that's super nice is if you want to multitask and like work, but also watch a YouTube video at the same time or something, you can literally stream it and like a bottom pop up. And I know what you're thinking right now, this is too much work, I'd rather not. They actually have this sync feature where you can sync your passwords, your tabs, your bookmarks, all from the old browser that you're using right now. So if you guys want to check Opera out, you guys can click the link in my description box below. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so we just tried this on. I really like it, but I don't really like how you can see that like the boning kind of is weird. I think it's because it's like a light color, so we're gonna try black. Okay, so we just put this one on. Would you say it was? It's just like one of a kind. Type yeah, thing? this is Dana's only design in this material. Yeah, because what do you guys do here? Do you guys like get pieces and then rework them, or what do you guys do? So Dana designs half of them. Yeah. Half are pieces of Dana designs, and then the other half are vintage. Oh, okay, well, this is super cool. It has like the lace and the floral, but you see what I mean? Like the boning on this, when the light hits it, you can't really tell, but I like it. Yeah, it's giving snap. Kaylee, what do you think? The lace is so on trend. The boning is so beautiful. I love it. I think it's a cop for it's sure. Alright, I think it's a cop for this guys. Okay, so we have this jacket and she pointed it out because Because of the French detailing. So I was on the phone with my mom last night and she loved watching fashion shows and she just watched three recent ones that were in LA this past week. I don't remember which brands they were, but she said that all of the purses on one of the shows had this fringe. And I've been seeing it all over my Pinterest board. So maybe fringe is making a comeback. I think this is gonna look real cute. So this is from the Versace Spring Summer show. This is the fringe that I was talking about, and I think there's another picture. Very like 2000s. That's definitely coming back. But it is a large though. That's why I was just like yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I with this length yeah. angle knife, but I'm we have good. other I'm trench good. coats. I just feel like it makes any outfit just so good. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Literally just so much better. No, like I literally need it's this. Yeah, like this just makes any outfit so good. We also have this navy, which could be different. You know what I mean? Like, oh, she's so different. She's so cool. But you know what? Ew, no. I hate the length. It's too structured. Like finance I liked the color though. I love this green color. If you guys don't know, I'm a green girly. Oh, I just... You know, it's very boxy though, which is my concern. Like, I don't like how boxy it is. Anyways, I think we're gonna go with the tan one. That was great. Didn't need to try on the rest of three, but we're gonna go with the tan one. Comment down below what you guys think was the best. But that's not all, guys. One more thing, one more thing. This is just so cute, so cute. for layering, and I just love, like, the lace moments. Look at him, he likes it. Uh -huh. Right? You like it? I like it. I feel like this is something I'd wear over and over and over again. If you just have a basic tank top or something, or a tube top, but you just want to make it like look a little bit different, mm -hmm. you add this on top. Very cute. And all of these little stringies. Uh mm huh. -hmm. All the little stringies. Toys. Oh yes. A high. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. Can't say that. Well, that was successful. I would show you guys my bag, but I'm not holding it. The next stop is Second Street. It's basically just like, I feel like a classic vintage thrift chain just around, I don't know if it's just New York, but it's just like all around the city. So we're gonna go there. Definitely better prices, still expensive, but better than the last place. The Lower East Side, y'all. Day in the life, living in New York City. Just kidding guys, like I never really leave the house. This is like a once in like a four month type thing. <laughs> at the Bowery showroom. I used to shop here all the time before I moved to New York. It definitely has like edgier pieces as you guys can see it's different. I feel like this isn't really my style as much anymore but I love coming here because they have like super cool, I feel like they have a lot of designers but like not like the typical, I say typical, some Japanese brands, you know like Spider, Chrome Hearts, like that kind of vibe to it. But the store is so much different than I remember when I used to come here. But it's definitely super cool. They have super cool pants, that's what I remember because I always used to buy my pants here. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I thought it was gonna be more straight, but this dress, I think it's cute. I think this dress is giving like massive bear type of. I love it. Okay, what are you thinking, girl? I really okay, like this. cute. It's like a longer shirt, and I wear a lot of blood rise, so like the purses just go. I love this. Very Y2K, very thrifted vibes. And then I also got a jacket to turn on. It's the brand Hurley, which is a like surfer brand. And it's just black. And I had to leave my favorite black to be at home. So I have space. Very like skater surfer style, right? Mm. I like it. I dig Slay. it. I'm definitely gonna get this. Prince Street Pizza. If you guys ever come to New York and you want to try some good pizza, go to Prince Street Pizza or Scar's Pizza, either one. This is like more of like a thicker piece with like that pepperoni that curls up, but Scar's Pizza is like the classic thin, but this is definitely the spot. It's here in Soho. Unfortunately, we have dinner reservations at 6.30, so we'll, we, we will not be eating here, but it's really good, so y'all should try it. in a way. 
stress, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much treat, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her, Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest, all night long, she putting me to the test, got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest, couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best.